Good morning at 6.56. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Star. The Rochester Police Department is investigating an allegation of excessive force. The body cam footage was released Sunday after police arrested 21-year-old Roy Siplin Jr. Siplin was arrested, according to police, Friday following a police chase of a car involved in a shooting. His father accusing the officers, but RPD says the level of force used in the arrest was necessary. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office asking for your help finding a missing girl, 15-year-old Paris Beckford, last seen Saturday when she left her home in Pittsburgh in an unknown car. She is 5'4", about 120 pounds, with brown curly hair and hazel eyes. She was wearing a gray and white sweatshirt and shorts at the time. If you know where she is, call 911. Cuca College is the latest school to switch to online-only learning over a spike of COVID-19 cases. The college confirming 11 more students tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to 34. More than 100 students are currently in quarantine. The school will transition to distance learning for two weeks. Well, President Trump holding a White House lawn rally over the weekend, addressing supporters on things like COVID and law enforcement reform. The president also announced he is completely negative for COVID-19, despite no official word from his medical team. The president says he will get back on the campaign trail today with a rally in Florida. More than 600,000 people remain without power across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas in the wake of Hurricane Delta. The storm was downgraded to a Category 2 when it made landfall Friday. Winds reaching speeds over 70 miles per hour as flooding overtook many neighborhoods. Delta moved along a similar path as Hurricane Laura six weeks ago, destroying structures and leaving people stranded in their homes. Confusion continuing over the Bills' upcoming game against the Titans after the Titans reported another staff member tested positive for COVID-19 Sunday. The NFL is allowing the game to kick off tomorrow night. As of now, the tentative plan could be changed if new cases are reported. The Bills' upcoming game against the Kansas City Chiefs, originally set for this Thursday, will now be played next Monday night, one week from today. The move is part of eight changes made by the NFL Sunday because of COVID-19. Go Bills. So much fun to watch this year. All right, time now is 659, 51 degrees, uneventful weather-wise. Right, James Gilbert? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, pretty comfortable starting in the lower 50s. We do climb into the lower 60s by the afternoon. Watch out. A couple of rain showers move through this evening and could be lingering in tomorrow morning. Uh, Josh Nichols is back tomorrow, but today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Josh Nichols. If you see him out there, <laughs> wish him a very happy birthday, Josh. Love it. He is sound asleep, <laughs> so we'll have to send this to him. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Great way to finish up. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.